Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own digital speed controller or PWM using a Minn Kota control board normally used for a 12 volt Traxxas trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'm going to be using in this project. First is the Minn Kota 12 volt control board. This is used to control speeds on a Traxxas trolling motor, which I have used in the past, and they're very good. It also has the adjusting potentiometer here, and the connections are made via these male spades here, so I'll be connecting the motor and the battery using female spades, and these two leads here go to a voltmeter, which I will not be using, so I'm just going to cap those off. Then I'm also going to be using this large box to encase the control board along with the smaller one here which I will use to make my remote and I'm going to be using these SAE type plugs to connect everything together and I'm going to use this Seoprim 18 gauge 3 conductor wire cable for the lengthening of the potentiometer switch for my remote. And then I also have two sets of gland nuts which the larger ones are going to be used on the big box here for the SAE connectors to come through the box and the smaller ones here will be used to run the wiring through the remote box. Okay, before I started anything, I wanted to make sure that the control board worked. So I hooked it up per the wiring diagram to a test trolling motor that I had, and everything works just fine. So my next step is going to be to cut this off here, the control potentiometer, or the speed control part, and then I'm going to splice in a longer 18 times 3 conductor line that I showed you earlier in the parts in order to extend it so I can make my remote. Okay, I've taken the lid off the box I'm going to use to mount the control board and I've put the board inside and I'm setting it in there based on the connections I have already in my kayak. And so since these are the motor connections I have it set up that the leads coming out on this side will go directly into my motor plug on the kayak. In this side, I will have the connections coming out for the battery. So what I'll do now that I've decided this is I'm going to drill a hole on either side here to run my wiring, and I'll make it large enough to accept this gland nut that I've already fit for my wiring. Then the next thing I'm going to do is take my little box here that I'm going to make the remote out of and then drill my hole here on one of the sides to accept this gland nut because this is where the extension wiring is going to come through here. And then what I also will do is drill a hole on the top for the potentiometer knob to fit which will give me control for my speeds. I wanted to show the internal view before I sealed up the box. And of course, here's your Minn Kota control board. And I attached it inside this box using two nylon bolts and wing nuts. I was originally going to use stainless steel bolts, which would have been okay because there are nylon bushings inside the board already, but I decided against it. Then, of course, you've got your connections here and here that lead to the connections that I'm going to be using on my kayak. This is the final setup and installation of the project. Now I did make a couple of changes like I forgot to mention that I was drilling a hole in the top of the lid and using a gland nut to run the cable out for the remote and I ended up not using a gland nut on the remote that way I could use a thinner box. And then you can see I have my SAE connections here into the port. And I know which side is which, and I don't have to worry too much about 
goofing them up because I did label each one, but also the cables are going to be bent in one way so I'll know how it works every time. So now it's time to test and we'll just go ahead and, and come to the back here and you can see the prop is spinning. So go up here, go to zero, go to forward. and go to the back and it's working like it should. So this project has been a success. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.